Okay, so I actually have something this time. This, uh, this trick is gonna allow us to skip the forced death that we have to take in this room in here. It's a really simple trick. A um, couple of things. When you do do the trick, uh, the ghost is gonna chase you, so you're gonna have to kill it. Uh, but we have, uh, have a way to, like, deal with that. Um, like I said, trick's really easy. Only thing you're gonna do is line yourself up with the post, or the the frame of the door, and you're gonna go in left to the point where it triggers the door uh, slamming, and then you just kinda hold right. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It. You just have to be quick and react to the door closing. You're trying to get back into the frame of the door before the door completely slams. If you don't do that, you're gonna get uh, trapped, and then you have to, you know, deal with this the, the usual way. But, alright, I'll show it off. Just like that. Like I said, the ghost is gonna chase us. Also, Ida is there. So we're just gonna kinda kite the ghost until we can actually shoot it. You should get about three shots before this happens. Oh god, where'd she go? So when she tries to go down the stairs, she'll actually fall through the floor. And at this point, we can move down here and just keep taking shots until she dies. So it's like five shots, it looks like. And then right here, it's just, you know, the same. Just wait for this little dialogue to happen. And you'll get the key, and then you can leave. So it skips. Dying, you know, the loading, having to walk into the light, and then coming back down here. Um, it should be quicker than, you know, actually taking the death. Um, there is one tiny side effect to this, though. No, it's when you pause the game. Um, if you try to quit the game from right here, the the game will crash. Well, maybe. Man, okay. So, I've had three things happen now. Uh, you pause the game, and it only shows settings. It doesn't show anything else. Um... I've quit the game, and it's uh, crashed the game, and then just now, everything just works as normal. So there's three things that can happen. Not going to be really a big factor in a run, but annoying. If you do lose a run, you are gonna you might have to, you know, close your game and then completely reload it. But that's, uh, that's the skip, and I think it's uh, pretty good.